April, the other times, and even the tough guy, Red Hood. You know, he can be the more passionate one at times. Sometimes this guy gives me do the time another guy can Like it's on the clock. Like, okay. <laughs> and now you can't be bad. Now it's my turn. No, how <laughs> dare you? How dare me? How dare you? Do you know when Bruce died? Window pane, water, you know. They don't start in perfect harmony. They don't start with perfect balance because they're dealing with a lot of trauma and a big loss. Stop it. Look, the big problem with this is that it seems like they barely have any footage to work with. And they're trying to like spread a very, a very small amount of butter, even thinner, across an even bigger piece of toast. Every time they, they make the toast a little bit bigger. You know, every every game the bar seems to go a little bit lower. Little Man, bit you ever see a CW show and go, this is way too sophisticated? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Red Hood, yes. blocky, square. Tank like that girl is more symmetrical and uh, balanced. Rock. What do you guys like? I right, like you're reading cues and it. concept art or something. No, no, hey, we gotta shoot a trailer. Game. What am I gonna say? Uh, say what? Say the bullet points under the you know. Robin, lower, lighter, stealthy, and Nightwing, agile, angular, sharp. A lot of effort in making every character really special with emotional ways to react to situations. Every character has its own path. Okay, you're saying your characters are gonna react, some of them in different ways. This is, uh, this is really something you're telling me. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> the words that are coming out of your mouth. Holy that means something <laughs> to you. Whoa! You're charging how little for this? Wearing more contemporary, normal clothes, and that's a big contrast to how they look as knights. So look, uh, you've seen these heroes like in their costumes, but what about out? If we were it's to take them fun. out of the costumes, you would see that they have, you know, pretty normal clothes, like normal people, and they're also different because each each of our characters are people. They're individual people with stories and reactions and, you know, they're different, so they give you different stuff. You know, holy shit. <laughs> they're originally the Batcave. Yeah. This place. This is, it's just like, it's like an attic. It's like a wooden attic. What do you fix watches up here? Motherfucker. It looks so first draft. Like it didn't get enough passes. This is an idea you float out and go, we'll come back to it. Why would the chair need to be wiped down? Why can't you just put your ass pants on where I had my ass just now? What's the big deal? Share a seat with me. Oh, you're such a pussy that you you can't even share a seat. What are you what are you what are you wearing a mask on your entire body now? Be naked, you fucking loser. Be free, sheep. Free from clothes. Free from protection against anything. Don't get any shots. Except you, Linda. You you keep your clothes up. <coughs> you go, girl. Why did you say Linda? Oh, there's a Linda in the studio. Probably. Okay. Lady, who kept saying looks like a man. Don't say that part. Nope, nope, I never said that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never said that. Yes. It's important that, that our players should be able to relate to these characters on a very basic human level. And that's what we wanted to showcase with our Belfry moments. Not what the fuck? On a very Did it look like Commissioner Gordon almost like rotated on point? Very basic human level. A, uh, oh, it's a figure! Jesus Christ! But I couldn't even tell because this game looks like shit. <laughs> I was like, wait, I mean, that looks bad, but it didn't look that much worse than everything I'm normally seeing. Oh, it took me a while! <laughs> That's how bad the game looks. Where this was like, my brain was like, eh, it's not that bad. It's not that much of a deviation. Oh, fuck. Which skin is your favorite? Oh, 
be different. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> Step into the game. The pre order now and get the 233 custom backpack skin. You get the bike. So, no script, if I may speak candidly. The truth of the matter is, a lot of these games seem to be coming out and uh, m making less and less available in the way of quality. Uh, I look at Saints Row, I look at Marvel's Avengers, and they represent these kicked out the door, unfinished buckets of garbage that were flawed from, you know, the ground up. The concept was not there because... I guess it didn't matter enough for the people who were making it to deliver something of quality. I'm going to be throwing up some footage from Spider-Man, just a mod with the Batman skin in it. And of course, I hope it makes or reminds you of the Arkham games and how flawless they were uh, a decade ago in the way of delivering an experience that was fluid and free, fun, had combat with more than just a few people on screen that didn't have people constantly A-posing or, you know, falling through the map because the game wasn't finished. You see these things these days and they just don't represent anything in the way of what you're looking for. It would be phenomenal if uh, Gotham Knights was set to come out and be this show-stopping narrative experience, but you look at it and you know better. You know better than to expect anything more exemplary than what you'd find in a CW show. This product is saved only by the fact that it's a DC property and the fans there are hard up for any kind of content and they'll consume anything. But knowing that this isn't going to have it in the story department, it's not going to deliver combat that feels anything less than 10 years old. I think it's a hard pass from so many people and with everything that you show, it defies a certain expectation and I don't believe these people are developing inside a vacuum. Surely they've tasted some of the other things available not just now but as far back as 10 years ago. This is inferior, factually, objectively inferior and with every showcase it gets worse. You're putting a worse taste in people's mouths. I applaud them not hiding just how busted and fucking janky the state of the game is. But surely the price should reflect that. But no, they're going to they're going to get away with what they can get away with. And that means if people are willing to buy it, then they have no reason other than to put it out there at that point. I uh I hope that when Spider Man 2 is showcased, it really just destroys DC, Warner Brothers, Montreal. Arkham, Arkham's developer Rocksteady would never. And this Gotham Knights game seems to represent exactly what WB wants to purge. I think this is damaging. The same way that Batgirl was and they decided, oh, we're not going to put that out. But it remains to be seen and I'm willing to definitely be wrong. So when the game comes out and everybody can play it, and it can be, oh, they just were hiding all the, the fact that it looks just, it's just like Batman Arkham's combat even better. No counter system. Weird. Weird, man. Thank you for watching to this point. Um, like the video if you enjoyed. And hopefully you can join me tomorrow for a live reaction to the Marvel Games Showcase. Surely they have something a little more impressive and maybe next-gen worthy to show us. Gotham Knights next gen only, but it was built initially for last gen. Just terrible. Just terrible.